Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. In this video I'll show you and explain about a symlink. It's also called a symbolic link uh, that we use in the Linux or Unix uh, environments. So let's get to it. As you see here I have uh, my terminal in the AWS console that I can use as a playground to explain and give a to show in real uh, real time uh, after small explanations and introduction. Okay, a symlink, also called a symbolic link, is a type of file in Linux that points to another file or folder on your uh, system. Symbolic links are similar, as we know, uh, similar to the shortcuts in Windows. We, in Windows we have a shortcut, the same thing is also here, uh, we call it a sim link for the Linux environments. Uh, in this example, and also I think in most scenarios, we, we use the type of, uh, one type of the sim link, which is the soft, uh, we call it soft links. In a hard link, it's kind of rare to use it because it's very restrictive. So in Simulink is what we're going to discuss and show you in the example. Okay. So one of, even before I, I go into the examples uh, or the demo, I would like to explain also when and why do we need a Simulink. You know, so let's give a scenario where there is a uh, different versions of a uh, one uh, package or binary or application that you like to use so in your code in your script you don't have to keep changing the the versions you, you don't have to keep changing your script in your code like okay i'm going to use this version so let's change the the, the name of that ver uh, version that point so that it can point to the correct version uh, instead of doing so what you do want to do is you just want to do the sim link you want to you want to give us one uh, distinct sim link file or folder name that you can use it in a script and then that sim link can point to the uh, to those different uh, versions of uh, the same package at a time so today you can use uh, for example let's point out which we're going to also see it, uh, in the example which is a maven so today you will use a maven 3.8 and then tomorrow you want to change it into 3.9 you don't have to update your script for that or even dip your configurations what you want to do is you just want to change the sum link so that so you use the sum link in your script and in your uh, deep configurations and the sim link can point to those different versions of maven at a time okay so <clears throat> i think this uh, is enough and let's get to the uh, example so i'm here in my system uh, in this uh, yeah, terminal uh, cloud shell that i have i can see where i am I mean the OPT. So if I look in the OPT, I have uh, multiple folders. I'm going to uh, focus on two folders, the tools and the apps. So for example, in my uh, tools, I have uh, two different version of Maven. In the app, I don't have anything. That's where I'm going to put my sim link. Okay. So let's clear this. Again, I'm in the apps and the tools so what i would do is i want to create one distinct name that would i that i would use to link into those final uh, exact or final uh, folders or contents so if i go to apps that's where i'm going to uh, create the the sum link okay so Let's do this. I'm going to use the mm, 
the 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 command. What is the command that I I, I would I would use to uh, create a symlink in Linux? So here, sln. That's it. Symlink ln, and then I I said that it is soft, so I put it minus s, and then what is the next command that comes? The next command that comes is the uh, final or exact uh, exact content and then the shortcut name this is the the command or the structure or the patterns of the sumo link so like I said uh, this final destination is the, uh, the guys under the tools for example and the shortcut is the name that I would like to use to represent them so that I can use it in my script in anywhere okay so if I follow this structure in ln minus s so where is it it's going to point to the tools tools and uh, I'm going to point to <coughs> for example to okay I have uh, 3.94 and 3999 uh, okay so I'm going to use this for example uh, now and and then what the second is the shortcut name shortcut name is the name that I would like to use to represent them uh, which is for example Maven okay so if I use this I can see now this is the shortcut and then when I come here it means I'm coming I'm getting into this uh, real content okay so if I go to Maven for example uh, I can I can clear page if I go there it means I am inside the content of the guys are inside the tools okay so what does this help me by the way this like I said this will help me to mm, switch between different destinations while having same shortcut by representing them with one shortcut uh, so as I said like uh, Maven so let's say my maven is let's uh, let's configure maven into my environments okay so my environment so how do i do this export okay <coughs> maven m2 home right Example, so I'm gonna use this. Uh, I will uh, pt mm, apps Maven. So I don't have to write all this long name. I just have to give that shortcut because this one is pointing to we know it pointing to the final destination. So <coughs> uh, I'm here into Maven, and then. Yeah, this is it. I'm exp exporting it, for example. And the next one is what? I'm going to point to... I'm going to add it to the path. Okay, so export again. Uh, path equals to mm, dollar sign. This is a visual uh, shell script. Uh, commands and I am going to add the bean and then I'm going to append the the path the ex already existing path okay so what it means is if I echo my dollar path I should see maven is here here so <clears throat> if I say maven minus version Oh, I don't have uh, Java at this point. Can I install Java? So yum update. OK. 
Okay. Can I install it? Uh, so I am install Java. There we have. Oh, looks like it's installing Java. Okay, Java. Ooh, perfect. <coughs> mm. Okay, and I have. So when I when I say when I do a uh, Maven version, I am in the version of three nine four. So. Uh, if I want to use my Maven, I can use this. I can use it in my script. Uh, if I want to configure my Maven uh, manually, I can use this. So, in next days, a system uh, administrator uh, can be asked to change the uh, Maven version into the other versions, the latest version, which is 3.99, for example. Uh, so you don't have to change your script if you want. If you are using this uh, path in your script, you don't have to change it. What you're going to do is you have to unlink first, and then you have to link to the right uh, 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 folder. How do we do this? Like I said here, we, one thing is we have to unlink first. We have to unlink first. Okay. That's the, when I do unlink, it's gone. It's gone. So what I have to do is I have to uh, switch back into the other, uh, the, the other, the other destination or the other uh, version of Maven using that same uh, shortcut, by the way. So how do I create it? Like uh, I did before, ln minus s. How what? Uh, the the real uh, contents location, which is the opt. For example, in my case, tools one Apache Maven. I think it's 9.99 and then what it's using the Maven it's the same like I said it's the same thing I'm using the same I'm using the same shortcut which means the, in my script I don't have to switch my script it can always stay there I only I'm only doing one change here in my system not in my script Okay, so if I do now, if I say Maven version, look at that. I'm gonna let's clear this. If I do Maven version now, now it's pointing to different version, the latest version. So only I did is the <coughs> link and unlink. I unlink the old and I link. Uh, I link to this latest one, and I didn't have to change the pass or the export uh, variables I, I did because it was or the same shortcut okay uh, I hope this uh, this was informative and help, uh, helpful to you uh, if you have any comments or questions please leave me in the comment section if you find this information helpful consider sharing it to your friends and families and for more videos don't forget to subscribe for now bye bye